G'day, Greg here. You know how painters' houses are never painted? Or builders always have something on their own house to build? Well, being a gardener, I must admit I'm the same. I have a garden and it is atrocious. Let me show it to you. This is an overview of my backyard. Pretty much it is just weeds and mess. For example, down here, uh, there's a big pile of dead branches that are sitting behind a useless barbecue that was built many years ago and it's just an eyesore. Down the back there is a garden shed which has been converted into a chicken house which is where these little fellas sleep. And right there is behind all that mess is a vegetable garden which doesn't get used anymore. And you can probably see here that there's some um, bamboo that has come up from, oh, right down there, a few houses down. It's now crept up. It's an invasive bamboo and it is coming up in our yard. So I'm going to have to get into that, poison it and cut it down. Uh, there's lots of just grass there, potted plants. There's my banana tree there. I've got a hibiscus and a bohemia, which is just a messy looking plant, which I'm going to cut out. But the worst part of all this back garden is that I like to sit on the back stairs here and just take it all in. But there's one problem. It's this lemon tree right here. I can't see anything because of that lemon tree. So unfortunately, Mr. Lemon Tree, I'm cutting you out. And I'm going to christen this video by cutting out this lemon tree. Now that lemon tree right there has always annoyed me. It is being planted at the bottom of the stairs here. You walk out straight into a tree. Not very good planning for gardening. So I had no say in it, but I've got to say in it now and it's going. What's the matter kitty? Hey, do you want to come outside in the garden? Yes, you do. <laughs> so, uh, my plans are tidy up around this water tank and make it all accessible for whippersnipping and make gardening a whole lot easier. Get rid of this lemon tree. Make the garden a whole lot more accessible and easier to maintain. And I'll probably plant a lemon and lime tree here to keep my housemate happy. Now the reason I'm doing this is I want to show you all um, how I can make my garden more enjoyable to get into again because the last thing I want to do when I get home from gardening is garden. So I want to make it more enjoyable so I can get out there and actually enjoy my garden which I really want to do and um, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make this garden more enjoyable and make me want to get out there. So let's get rid of this tree for starters. It's another angle, it's actually it's actually quite big. But I'm sorry, you've got to go. Well, as you can see, I've reclaimed the backyard. I'm actually really happy about this because that tree has been sitting there for about three or four years, just annoying me every single day. So I've now reclaimed the backyard and I'm a happy man. Now they say every journey begins with a small step. Well, that was my small step. And it's gonna be um, an interesting journey, I think, just to see how long it's gonna take and uh, what I'm gonna to have to do and, and how much it's gonna cost me as well. Just, you know, small little steps like that can make all the difference. So now that I've done that, I've gotta keep going. So please join me in the journey and I'll see you next time on the Greg the Gardener channel.